Here we are in year two, episode five of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. Oh, him again. Coaching happiness. Yes, him again. When you change you, you change everything. And you like him. Well, he certainly works cheap. So, on to this bit about the Shylock trap. <laughs> Someone must be in a good mood today. Yeah, I just have a feeling you're about to blow my mind with good information. Well, today's pod is going to be all about Shylocks. What? It's an Italian word for moneylender or usurer. In the Middle Ages, they were very common. They had these little shops where people would come to borrow money from them. A drop of blood at a time? Or just a mere jot of blood? Uh, more like a very dubious sort of crime scene. Like in Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice? I see you're on your A-game in literature. Yes, exactly like in Shakespeare's Merchant of Venice. So what was the deal? A nicer life for a pound of flesh? The Shylock would lend out money at interest. Okay, like any good stony adversary would. And if you didn't pay back on time, he could seize your property as collateral. Right. No dram of mercy here. Nope, but that's not the worst part of it. No? No, because when you defaulted, this person could take you into court and force you to sell your property. But isn't that how loans work? That's getting a piece of flesh too, isn't it? Yes, but the difference here is that the Shylock is not regulated by law. They charge exorbitant interest and can do whatever they want to recover their money. You said they existed in the Middle Ages. Does that mean they are no longer in existence? Well, yeah, that's right. In fact, they're illegal in many places. But there are still some Shylocks around. Hiding in a break, no doubt, like some inhuman wretch. Hmm. Break number one. Right, number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us. Please head over to the support link in our written show notes. That's the words on your podcast player. There, you can choose from a $9.99 per month doing level of support, a $4.99 knowing level or a basic intro level of just 99 cents per month. Great place to start, whichever you choose. Thank you so much for helping us do this for you. And to leave us a voice message, which just might see the light of day in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes. You'll go to a site where you can leave a video, audio, or text-only message, depending on how you feel at the moment. You can also send us an audio file attached to an email if you use just more than your phone for stuff. I won't repeat those links because weird. And anyway, show notes. It's all in there and it's all easy. Shylocks still exist, huh? Why do I feel like Lady Macbeth? Good question, DT. You sure don't sound like her. Or look like her. I take back the question. Back to the dangerous bond of Shylocks. They operate illegally? Yes, some countries don't recognize them at all. Others only allow them to exist under certain conditions. For example, in England, they need to be licensed by the government. Oh, so they're kind of like payday lenders. Exactly. I was waiting for you to figure that out. Perhaps we should look at expanding your reading list. Mm, very funny. Anyway, payday lenders are also unregulated. Wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about the same thing? Yes, we're talking about how to spot Shylocks. So, why did they become illegal? Because they prey upon the poor. Mm -hmm. If you're already struggling financially, then you're more likely to fall victim to this type of loan shark. Ah, they're also known as loan sharks. Right, their loans are also very easy to get. Mm, well, I like easy things. Yeah, but they're hard to get rid of. And since they aren't regulated, the lenders can charge whatever rate they want. Okay. And they often charge interest rates that exceed 300%. <laughs> Wow. This means that even though you might make payments every month, over time you'll end up paying much more than what you borrowed. Why do people go to Shylocks? Hang around and you might find out. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to a hard podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? 
This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, civil. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. Okay, as we were saying, people go to Shylock's because they think they don't have a better choice. Hmm. Or maybe they just don't understand the consequences. Some people live in perpetual loans from loan sharks. They borrow from one to pay another. Wow. Left to their own devices, they never escape debt slavery. Never escape debt slavery. Yes, Didi. And so, there are many stories of people who went bankrupt because their creditors took everything they own, including their wives and children. No comment. Or quality of mercy. My bad. Now, it's important to note that this doesn't apply to everyone who has ever taken out a loan. There are also plenty of legitimate businesses that offer loans at reasonable interest rates. Okay, so let me ask you something. How does one avoid getting sucked into this situation? There are two ways. One way is to use a reputable lender who charges reasonable interest rates. Mm -hmm. However, there are other ways to avoid falling victim to a Shylock. Oh, another body story? Nope, just good advice. Like first, you shouldn't rely on credit cards. Why not? Credit card companies charge high fees and interest rates. Mm. And to the degree that they're not regulated, they can charge anything they want. No. Okay. Second, you should try to find an alternative lender. Like who? There are several online platforms where you can use legitimate lenders. No. Just remember to shop around for the best terms, ask questions, and above all, listen to their approaches to questions. Yeah. There are always better terms. Finally, you should always keep track of your finances. Don't borrow without a purpose. No. Good point. This will help you identify any problems before they snowball. The key to financial freedom is living within your means and avoiding anything even remotely resembling a blood prohibition. Should talk about good and bad loans in a future pod. You know what, DT? That future might be very soon. Well, why don't you go practice? Because I'll repeat. Which you should. Which? Practice or repeat? Both. After which, you'll get good. This episode's kind of short, isn't it? Well, that's because the last one was kind of long. Okay, yeah. Anything else? Gracias por escucho. Daniel, is he a regular thing now? Maybe, we'll see. He's growing on me a little. A little is good, DT. A la prochaine. Are you still here? Cool. This podcast and our other podcasts are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes Techno King John C. Brandy, Fact Checker Abraham Lincoln, French Consultant Virginia Mitchell, Media Expert Favor O. Bossy E.K., Psychologist Sigmund Freud, Rabbit Hole Advisor Dr. Marg Parrot, Sound Designer Goodly Amo Marconi, Spanish Consultant Cameron J.K. Brandy, Videographer Alfred Hitchcock, Audio Props Lace Paul. Inspiration Napoleon Hill and Earl Nightingale. We also have a website and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio, or text message. But of course, you'll have to head to the show notes, either on your phone or on the web, to actually get links and stuff. I mean, I could read the URLs where you can subscribe, support, or leave one of those video or audio messages, but you really don't want me to do that. And those explicit and clickable links are in the show notes. Finally, you can find us on Podmatch, where we consider guests as well as consider guesting on other people's pods. And really finally, the music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound, and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams, both on Freesound.org. Paul. <laughs>